welcome everyone. We spoke about the value of the currencies in the path of exile and also you know what is worth what. And next up we're gonna speak about trading. This is gonna be a quick guide on trading. There will be advanced guides on trading and you know finding a free money with trading, you know, making better trades in the future. So this just teaches us how to trade. Firstly, let's look at how to buy items. Here we have two websites we'll be, I'll be using to buy items with Path of Exile. Ours you should use with POE Trade, and this is the unofficial website for Path of Exile buying items. And as you can see, there's a lot of settings, you can look for items, there's lots of categories, you can filter items. What I also recommend is trying out the trade with Path of Exile Trade. This is the official trade. And similarly, you can go categories, you can search up items, you can actually do a lot of things. So. What we're going to do is we're going to look into the general process of buying. We're going to try to buy an item in the currency market and I'll show you guys the details. Let's say if I want to buy an Exalted Orb, I'll be clicking the Exalted Orb. I'll also click the Chaos Orb, which I'll be offering to the seller and I'll click search. After this, I'll be brought up into a window. Oh, that's a really cheap one. So it's 1 to 180. I'll click Contact Seller. This gives me a message to copy paste. I copy this one with my hockey. I go into the game, I'll click enter and I'll send this message to the seller. Now let me get the DND. So we'll send a message to the seller and this basically says, hi, I would like to buy your Exoda op for 180 chaos. And if the seller responds by inviting me to the party, I can teleport to his hideout and I can have the chaos op ready to trade. Keep in mind, there is uh, equity with the trading system because the seller have to find items within his stash to have it ready for you. So if you teleport to him, you should have your currency ready to trade. Also have the free spot to trade. And after that, you should wait for him to interact with you. You should wait for him to trade you first because he might be looking for the item. You shouldn't be rushing him. After he trades with you, you should be giving items onto the side and double check this is the item you wanted. If you buy an item, make sure you double check everything you search for online. So over here, make sure if you actually search for an item, everything you search for the old item stats is actually correct. If you're buying currency, make sure you search the right amount of currency, it's giving you the right currency. So when you're trading, make sure you highlight all the items he offered and double check the stats and he will be doing the same with your items. And once you click trade accept, you will have the item. Keep in mind, if you actually buy an item and the sellers don't respond, that means he's either AFK, he's not available, or maybe his price is too cheap for the market. He already sold it to other people and he doesn't want to respond to us. And if he actually wants to respond to us, he will actually message us back. And you know, he will say, hey, do you want it? And it's actually very efficient after getting used to it. Basically, you can invite him to party, you can teleport to him but I recommend waiting for the seller to invite you and proceed with the trade. And sometimes it does take a little while to buy the currency you want because we're always going for the cheapest price and people are doing that as well. Next up, we'll be looking at how to sell items. Selling is a little more tricky because it requires you to have a special stash in your stash inventory and this allows you to sell items. What you can do is you can actually purchase a trade tab within the particular microtransaction market and yes we mentioned microtransaction but this is not the expensive one this is one of the cheapest transaction we can get actually so let me have a look here it is so 15 po points here 15 of the currency points will cost you $1.50 USD and this allows you to purchase a premium stash what does premium stash do is not only it's a normal stash you can also market list your item for example here I have a bunch of item that's listed and basically if you hover my thing, my cursor onto one of the items, you can see I'm asking for the exact price of 13 chaos orb. And this actually transfer the data onto online and these websites here will actually be able to search for the item I actually listed. So I'll show you guys here. Now if I'm actually searching for a socket of six, I'm looking for a six link, I'm looking for let's say if I'm looking for any item and let's we'll click search. And what's going to happen is it will show me items that are six linked for a particular price. What I can do is if I was the person that's listed those items, the buyer can click whisper and they will copy a message. You can actually go here. You can message the seller. You'd be like, hey, I want to buy this item. And this item is located on those location. So for example, if I get a message earlier, which I did, 
hey Zach, hey, I want to buy one of your items for 69 KS and it's in 9 and 11. So this is a boot I listed and let's have a look. 9, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, ooh, it's somewhere down here, right? And if I actually can't find it properly, I can search for the name of it. I can go to tomed boots. What is the two-tone boots? Ah, here it is. So I need to type everything correctly. I missed the line in between. So if I had the line in between, that would be better. So he wanted to buy this bridge for 69 KS. That's the price I listed. So how do you actually list item within the premium stash? After having the premium stash, you can put any of the items in. After putting it in, don't worry, people won't get this off you. you they can only see the data. You have to trade with them manually to get it off. So if you misprice it, it's okay as well. You realize you missed price it when you get 20 messages saying I want to buy it and people always want to buy it quickly because it's so cheap. So once you have item in, you can right click on the item. You can have a note, which usually people go with the exact price. You should usually use the medium of exchange for chaos of. Think chaos of as in terms of one gold or $1. And sometimes you can go for other things if you really want it. So mostly people go for chaos of. For example, I know the price of my my particular ancient op will be selling for anywhere about 90 to 95 chaos op. I can put it expensive for 95. And this now is listed onto the websites with the trading for part of Excel. So when people see this and they want to trade with me, they will come with 95 ops. They will send me a message here like this. And I can get back to them by inviting them to my party and having this ready by finding where it is and trade with them. So this allows you to sell items effectively. Notice there's lots of items for sale and the small trick what I start to do is if no one buys my items, I lower the price of all the items slightly and hopefully they buy them after. And if they don't buy them again, I lower the price even further. Keep in mind, people can only see the items you listed for sale if your character is online because only an online character can trade. And if you're not online and if, you, you know, if you're not really trading, then people can't see those offline. So people don't usually see the offline items and that means if you're online, your items getting shown by people and if they're not buying it, you can lower the price. But if you're offline, items can't be sold. So there's no need to lower your price if you're still offline. So every time I play a few hours online, no one buys them and lowers the price. Also, I double check the market price as well. So this is it for the selling part and buying part with part of Excel. Of course, there's a lot of tricks. What I recommend if you first get into selling and buying, make sure you double check the price of similar items that you're not underselling or if you're not paying overpriced for items. I actually undersold one of my exalted op when I first started. It was worth about 180 KS. I sold it for 160 because I saw the average price on the website I just used it. People rushed me with messages. I actually panicked. I sold it really quickly. And I realized I don't have to do that. People often don't interact with a trade that's really you know, distorted or like underpriced. So you can just tell people, sorry, I mispriced it. One indication is when you list the item, 10 minutes later, 20 people or five people message you, double check the price, make sure you know the price is correct. So don't do what I did. I actually undersold for about 20 chaos, which was quite a bit for the early game end game for me. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully you find this helpful. I'll be making more smart guides for you guys for part of Excel. And I'll see you guys next time.